Okay, today's Friday. Friday, we are not going to any sales today. Uh, did you even check to see how many there were? Didn't make any sense. There was only one. Oh, there was one anyway, so it doesn't but matter. It was a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ah, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it doesn't matter. Oh, there's a, a left flea market and a church west. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, that's Saturday. But so what we're doing today is we're going to two appointments, I guess. But these are people that we know. They're not random. They're not fresh. And I pretty much know exactly what I'm going to get. I'm going to get perfume. I have appointment one. Uh, you're going to get jewelry. And appointment two, I'm probably going to get CDs. Right? So that's the plan for today. Um, yeah, and we're on the way. Right? That's it. That's it. Okay. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this, but it's going to be fast. Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I spent 125, 135 for this basket, and I spent 125 for that over there, and that included 50 dollars in credit for the CDs. CDs I got for uh, two for a dollar. I bought them off my friend Danny. Uh, here, Marie bought an ornament for that, and then she bought some random jewelry, and I bought just a lot of. Uh, she, I guess she bought some buttons. I think she wants to try buttons on eBay for some reason. Um, there's like a fur collar. Just some random jewelry. Uh, there's nothing very, I mean, too special or valuable here. But it was part of the deal. Some hair clip. You know, a lot of it's for the flea market, basically. Like, here's a pin. This is just a nice-looking pin. Not signed by anybody. Here's like, she likes these claws and eight eggs. Here's like a little clip on earrings, so there's probably a mate to that. I guess she needed some Christmas pins because Christmas is coming for the flea market. Uh, there's a Mr. Sun face. Uh, charm. There really, here's some more buttons. There really shouldn't be anything too good in here. Here's a just a bracelet. It looks like it's glass and gold tone. Kind of nice looking. Uh, this looks like one of them Puff silver pins. It's got the back of a man and a burrow. Uh, that. Uh, what is this? Oh, this looks like a little charm of some sort. It looks like a car. Uh, here's a ring. There's another Christmas wreath. Sorry, guys. I just got a lot of stuff going on. Hmm. Here's a very pretty charm. I don't know who made this one. It says something right there. Kind of looks like a Kirk's Folly to me, but I can't read it right now, so it doesn't matter. I already showed that. There's a wreath. I mean, just a there's a rhinestone bow. This looks like garnet. Uh, there's another bow. Here's an enamel artist palette pin. Those those are fun. Here's uh, another Christmas pin. Is that like Florida Lee Girl Scouts? It beats me. Here's the mate to that other uh, earring. It's a clip on. It's an older one. Uh, here's a cat. This is most likely a JJ pen. Not worth very much, but. We needed stuff at the flea market, I guess. And this is dirty and old. But it looks silver. But it's really small. I do not have. Uh, eh, I guess it's pinky size. We're a randomly normal sized person. It's this and that. Okay. Um, then I just got a bunch of perfumes. Um, some of the perfumes don't have much value at all. I, some are lotions. But I just, what I did was I just did mental math and added everything up. <clears throat> like this, Desert Flower, but it, it, I ha it looks like this on the inside. So th this isn't a lot, it's very small. Odds are a lot. Those one in if I get to them. Here's something called Gennaro. Never heard of it. It's like generic. Uh, perfume. Shocking. De so These are small. The ones in the boxes are pretty small. See? And this one's almost empty. It's a nice bottle. Nice box. But stuff like that isn't really worth much on eBay. That's all. Lotus Cologne. Not sure the value of that one. But it's about one third filled. Uh, then there's some creams. I don't know. These are probably very old, very expired. Probably not worth much at all. So I might throw these away when 
I get a chance. Everything's wet out here. Here's something called Milkmaid Cologne. I have no clue who makes this. Milkmaid Ink. I have no clue that they're that the milk the smell of milkmaids or that specifically milkmaids need their own cologne. I have no clue why somebody thought that would be good. This looks like a good one, but it looks like it leaked a long time ago. So it's probably Oh, that's right. Yeah, I already looked at this one. This would be a good one, but it's almost empty. It, it totally leaked out. <clears throat> this looks like Burberry, but believe it or not, Burberry doesn't sell for very much perfume-wise. Or the ones I have, haven't. I have one listed for months and months. And Liquid Reven, Revanescence, Charles of the Ritz. That might be okay. That's probably like the one that I think I can literally sell. Then I got some bars of soap, Yardley of London, Yardley of London. Not much in the way of value there. I could possibly lot, lot those. I, oh, um, let's see. So I think I said I paid 135 for everything. Here's some oil of Olay original formula. I need. I'll go through this stuff in it. This is Avon, of course, and it looks like the label fell off. It had a label in there. Here's a no, another cream. Creams are weird on eBay because they go bad. Here's a, I don't know who made this one. I might be able to read something on the bottom there. That might tell me who made it. Of course, I'm not wearing the correct glasses for this, but no label is annoying. Here's another, uh, this, this probably would have been better if all of them were here. It's something called Red Garter. Let's see if I can focus on it. Uh, I got one, two, three, and five. Uh, let's see. There are some ones that are, that are decent in here. Uh, this one, I don't know. <laughs> Jingles. Uh, okay. This one. Let's see. This didn't say what it was. In the box. Shoot. Okay, this one's very difficult for me to get out, and I'm worried about popping a cop ca cap off. Okay, it might have leaked a little over time. Uh, Nuet de Noel. Can't tell if it's leaking. Um, it might be leaking. Uh, but it might be okay. You know, I don't know. Just whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I haven't really got to anything very good. Shia Pirelli. Not. Have no clue. This is this. A lot of this is just stuff I just don't really know. <clears throat> I paid up to the perfume, so it's my friends. Sometimes you can sell powders, body talcs. This one was wrapped, and it might have been better if it weren't so... Oh, no, this one's no big deal. I've had this before. Big bottles take forever to sell. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it has, like, two snakes on it. I just remember listing it a long time ago, and that's not... Gina Tay is always no big deal. Gina Tay, no big deal, has very little value. It's, it's something that, that people um, just don't pay anything for Gina Tay. Yardley of London, that's another soap. Um, I don't know, this, whatever it is, is BS. Uh, this is just a tiny little Bermuda Jasmine perfume. Again, another very small perfume. I'm not going to waste the time taking it out. That's not the very very small sizes generally have no particular value. Here's like a travel one. It feels like there's nothing in there. I don't know who the maker is. Uh, perfume. This this is talc. So that's powder. Sometimes you could sell powder, not for a lot. I believe this is an Avon, but let's see. Uh, you know what? Let me put, let me save that one. Uh, this is probably one of the better ones. Christian Dior, Durissimo, that should have some value. 
Uh, and then this, I don't know. I'm not familiar with this. This says Bell, uh, Bell, Bellagio, and it's made in Paris. Right? That could be okay. You know, it's like weird. Now here's the Evening Velvet Touch, some kind of night cream. And this is probably flower, Flowing Velvet. It's a lotion. Again, that stuff should not be worth very much. I, I mean, they were blowing it out at 10 bucks. All right, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. It probably doesn't matter because it's AJ, but we'll see. All right, I'm just going to uh, pick up from here. Uh, yep, there was AJ, and he called me, and it was nonsense. But anyway, Avon, unforgettable crystal cologne probably has no value. Royal Secret Sperry Concentrate by Germaine Montiel. Not sure. I never did get a chance to open this. I probably should have done it before, but... Oh, wait, let's see. So, the funny thing is, is the ones that are worth something... Oh, uh, Avon, okay. So this probably doesn't have much value. <clears throat> the ones that are worth something will pretty much cover the ones that aren't worth anything. Uh, and there's a lot. It's like I said, I'll go through... I'll do some research for the hell of it. I need to learn, you know. Yardley Red Roses never had it. So, never seen it. So that could be okay. Royal Secret Spray. Oh, I already looked at that. And that one's sealed. So that could be okay. What's this? Uh, Shalimar's. Usually Shalimar's okay. Uh, Guerlain is a good name. Here's another bar of soap. Uh, Little Gems Collection. That, oh, that must be the ornament. Let me see. Okay, let me put that here. She's going to want to take a picture of that right away. Um... Nina Ricci, this might be worth more than most Nina Ricci, but I don't really know. You know, I got to check the bottle. Avon, shouldn't have much value. Avon, uh, perfume, whatever. Here's another Avon Topaz, shouldn't have much value. Uh, Avon Charisma, shouldn't have much value. I don't know what that is. Uh, Paul Sebastian usually isn't worth anything, so that's more stuff. Uh, I don't know this one. This is some kind of lotion. And before I shook it, it had totally separated into clumps. Here's another Jean Nate. Shouldn't be worth anything. Another Paul Sebastian. Usually not worth anything. Intimate Teardrop Spray Wrist. Old Revlon could be worth uh, an okay amount. Uh, I don't have a label on this one, so I'm going to have to figure it out. Or I won't. Uh, here's another Velvet. Flowing Velvet. I'll be not... RSVP, Lotion Cologne, beats the hell out of me, and another uh, Avon Perfume Towel. Okay, I just, I don't, I don't know, I know I paid a fair amount, um, I'll sell a few and I'll be okay, and then the rest I'll either give away or throw away. Okay, there's four rows and another row of CDs here. I'm not going to take all the CDs out, I just don't have time, you know, so sorry. But what I'll do is I'll show the title selection that I kind of got. Um, so you'll see Grateful Dead, Billy Joel, then I got some Rando, Huey Lewis and News. Some of the stuff will be for the store. Aerosmith, uh, Z, Z Top Guns and Roses, Aerosmith, Peter Frampton. Some of this stuff will be for the flea market. Then you see Van Halen, Hart, Elton John, Incubus, Jimmy Page, Billy Idol, uh, Poison, Poison, boom, 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 Poison, uh, Neil Diamond, The Who, Tommy, Rolling Stones. So I will sell these CDs anywhere. See, I got some. I got some Metallica. Oh, and man, you should have seen how many CDs I went through. I went through these like four, um, um, three plus huge boxes of CDs, and I pulled out probably twice as many as this that I would have bought. But I, if they had anything wrong with them, I was not buying them just because CDs don't sell as well as they do now, and I'm, I've really lowered the price. So if there's anything wrong. With them, look, I got the Strokes, Rolling Stones, Pat Benatar. People just, they just don't buy them, you know? So I just took the stuff that I'm very familiar. Let's see, I got B-52s, Billy Joel, Van Halen, again, Pearl Jam. Uh, normally, I don't even buy Pearl Jam. That was a mistake. Pearl Jam doesn't sell. Uh, Quiet Riot, Jay Giles Band, Bruce Singsteen, some Beatles. Oh, they had tons of Beatles, but all of it was scratched up, no good. And that's because people love the Beatles. They play them over and over. And believe it or not, they are not worth anything on eBay or Amazon. Um, Boston, Rage Against the Machine, Decade, White Snake, Van Halen. Here, I get a little closer, you can see. Uh, Janis Joplin, Michael Jackson, Beach Boys. So whatever, whatever's 
underneath this will be similar music so it doesn't really matter you don't have to see everything now Radiohead I mean people like Radiohead it's not easy to sell but I want I want to have selection here's Led Zeppelin a lot of the cases are beat up so actually a lot of these cases uh, this is stuff that uh, Danny's gonna throw away he said it, it wasn't good for anything and I don't believe I could sell it so he said just take it use the cases for the ones that are bashed up and that's what I'm gonna do see so you can see you can see the titles I there's just really popular and or best stuff music anyway I got a lot of stuff to do so I'm gonna say I'm out of here um, like the video uh, subscribe to my friends uh, be nice to each other you know <laughs> give to charity uh, Happy holidays, all that stuff. Um, if you want to see me this week, I'm going to be in Clifton Jubilee. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything really I have to say. So uh, guess what? Uh, oh, also on this deal, I had credit because I found some stuff that uh, my friend will put on Amazon that he can sell. That on eBay really doesn't sell for much, but on Amazon it has good sell and whatever. Amazon and eBay are weird. Um, but anyway, other than that, I'm out of here. No one's going to resell a video today because I didn't really go to... to um, any house sales just to the two appointments I had. Um, yeah, okay, bye. I'm out of here.